So let's talk about just these two gateways here. What are the differences between the two? The easiest one to talk about is this guy here. This one only works on fiber, okay? This has an internal fiber modem, or you can use an external AT&T 010, plug it into here and use this as a router modem, okay? Or router. Um, this also has Wi-Fi 6, so it's got a 2.4 BG end card, then it has a 5G AC slash N card, then it has the Wi-Fi 6 card. Keep in mind that the Wi-Fi 6 has a short distance, 5G a little bit longer, and then 2.4 BG cards have a much greater distance, so it'll control your outside cameras. All right, so this one only can, works on fiber with either a O and O fiber or internal fiber. Can go 50 by 50 all the way up to 5,000 by 5,000, depending on the type of SFP that's allowed for the area. All right, this one, this is a residential gateway that works on either DSL or fiber. So you have your broadband DSL or you have your fiber. Phones lines one and two, your ports one through four, full duplex up to 1,000 megabytes per second, and USB one and two for network printers. Reset, reset, uh, press 20 seconds, re reboots the gateway back to factory settings, and then your power. Pretty sleek design, lots of lots of holes for airflow. Wi-Fi and passwords on the side here with device access code and your your device access code here, your 192.168.1.254. Um, this is how you get into the GUI. You can remove these two tabs and mount it on a wall. The other differences between the two is this guy can only be standing, so you can't lay it down. Your antennas are up top. You can lay this one down sideways on its pegs or standing straight up. You'll get better Wi-Fi coverage this way, but you can mount this down or up if you have like a, if you want to mount it up top. The range on this one is going to be a little bit less than this guy. So according to their site, it says it can do up to 5,000 square feet, which I think that's on like the 2.4 B card. The weakest signal or the, not weakest, but the slowest signal that gives you about six to 12 megabytes a second. So you can run a security camera. And then you have your 5G AC in card, which reaches about, I think I've gotten the most about 375 megabytes a second. Sometimes I'll see four, 400, but it, it drops back down about 350. Max speed on Wi-Fi six is about 730, I've seen 750s, but it's pretty consistent at um, the five to 600. Uh, way more range, way more coverage. The antennas are up top here. Other than that, that is pretty much all differences on it. Uh, DSL and fiber, fiber only, okay? Depending on what side of town you have with uh, AT&T services allowed, you either have DSL or fiber, or if you have fiber, you can use either or. The reason why they would use this one instead of this one on the fiber is let's say that your distance, um, your Cat5, it's impossible to drop the Cat5, or the, I'm sorry, the fiber line into the living room, and there's already a Cat5 there. So you could use this as your as your ONT or as your router for Wi-Fi 6, but whenever there's a, they call it a 010, I've seen a lot of those techs not be able to install this because for some reason it doesn't let it close on their system. So they bypass this one and you work on this one here. Which, since you have a 010010, you'll be perfectly fine with this device because I think most of the sales are gonna be 300 by 300, so this is gonna give you plenty of coverage. Um, if you wanted to use this one, I think you can call 800 2020 and say, I want the white gateway 320, BGW 320-500, and they should be able to send it to you. I don't know how AT&T works on that, but it should be able to send it to you. You just disconnect it from here, plug it into this one, should fire up now if you do have a repair and att comes out the rep the technician will, will probably downgrade you to this one because 
their system won't allow to close on this type of a gateway with the 010. So, which is better? Well, obviously that one, Wi-Fi 6. You can connect third-party routers to these devices. Go to port one on both. So you can have an Eero, Linksys, Ubiquiti, Unify, Belkin, anything. Just plug them into port one, turn the Wi-Fi and name and password off of this device, and use your third-party router. Um, you can use mesh systems. Uh, other than that, I hope this helped you guys out on what the difference is between the two, at least these two particular ones. We'll see you next time.